Everyone is saying Polestar overhauled the 3 before most people even got to drive it. That sounds like a disaster. But what if it's actually the smartest move in the electric SUV game right now? The 2026 Polestar 3 just became the car it was always supposed to be. And the Germans should be nervous, because this Swedish electric SUV just learned to charge faster than a Porsche Macan. The design stays untouched. Clean Scandinavian lines with those distinctive T-shaped LED headlights. No fake grills, no unnecessary creases, just pure minimalist confidence. It looks expensive without screaming for attention, the kind of restraint German brands forgot how to do. But open the charging port and everything changes. Polestar ripped out the entire electrical system and replaced it with an 800-volt architecture. You know what that means? 350 kilowatts of DC fast charging power. 10 to 80 percent in 22 minutes. That's 8 minutes faster than the old version. And here's the part nobody expected. They gave it a completely new rear motor. Developed in-house, more powerful, more rear biased. The single motor rear motor version now makes 333 horsepower with 350 miles of range. The dual motor jumps to 544 horses with 315 miles. And the performance? 670 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. In a luxury SUV that seats five adults comfortably, the new motor gives every version a rear-wheel drive feel even with all-wheel drive engaged. It disconnects the front motor when you don't need it to save energy, then reconnects instantly when you need grip. The chassis got updated anti-roll bars and new steering software. Sharper, more direct, more engaging than before. This isn't just a comfortable electric family hauler anymore. It drives like something from a performance brand, because it is. Step inside and you get pure Scandinavian minimalism. A massive 14.5-inch vertical touchscreen dominates the dashboard. Google Android Automotive built right in. Not Apple CarPlay running Google Maps. Actual Google Maps as the native system. Real-time charging station availability voice control that actually works, over-the-air updates that keep improving the car. The Germans are still using systems that feel like they're from 2019. This feels like 2026. The materials are sustainable without feeling cheap. Recycled plastics, bio-based composites, vegan leather options. But it all feels premium. The optional 25-speaker Bowers & Wilkins sound system is ridiculous. Concert hall acoustics in a car built in South Carolina. Space is excellent up front. The rear seats sit a bit low, but there is plenty of headroom and legroom for adults. The boot is 484 liters. Not massive, but there is a front trunk for charging cables. And that new NVIDIA Drive Axorn processor? Eight times more processing power than the old chip. 254 trillion operations per second. That powers the advanced driver assistance systems and AI features. And here is the wildest part. Existing 2025 Polestar 3 owners get the new processor as a free retrofit. When has any car maker ever done that? So let's talk money. The rear motor starts at 69,990 pounds. The dual motor is 77,990 pounds. The performance is 91,990 pounds. That puts it directly against the Audi Q6 e-tron, the BMW iX, and the Porsche Macan EV, but with better charging, more power, and Google built in. The 2026 Polestar 3 is what happens when a brand fixes everything wrong with version 1 before most people even noticed. That's not a disaster. That's confidence. Next time we are looking at the Polestar 5. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions. I read every single one. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified about my next upload. See you in the next video.